How's it going guys? Today we're going to compare the Canon 80D to the 1DX Mark II. So I've been working with the 80D for about a year and a half now, and this is actually the first camera that I ever purchased with solely my own money, so that was a huge accomplishment at the time. Now for the 1DX Mark II, I've been working with this for about two months, and this was also paid for with only my own money. A majority of that came from work that I have done with the 80D. I'm still working on a full review of the 1DX Mark II and that'll include more information about my backstory and it's more technical about this stuff. But in today's video, we're just gonna be comparing these two cameras, specifically looking at ways that the ADD is superior to the 1DX Mark II because when I first saw the 1DX Mark II, I thought it would be all across the board better than the ADD, but there are a number of things where that's not quite the case. Number one, the ADD has a brilliant flip out touchscreen, and even after a year and a half of use, this thing still feels like it's brand new. I mean, it is just incredibly designed and works really well if you want to um, do any selfie vlogging or like when I normally shoot these YouTube videos, I use the ADD. I have not used the 1DX Mark II for a lot of this kind of style video recording but I can just flip the screen out and I can see myself without using an external monitor. And that is really, really convenient. Otherwise, the screen size is about the same. I think it's slightly larger on the 1DX Mark II, but it's not noticeably any brighter or sharper or anything like that. I gotta give the screen to the ADD. All right, second thing is the weight. The ADD is fairly compact and built out of kind of plasticky materials that keep it nice and lightweight, whereas the 1DX Mark II is a heft to carry around all over the place, and it is so much larger that when I put it on a gimbal or just in normal use, it's just so much more camera to move, which makes it more difficult, but that does make this more durable and robust. But honestly, I haven't had any of those issues with the ADD. Number three, the ADD has an APS-C size sensor, which is 1.6 times cropped compared to the full frame 1DX Mark II. Now quality wise, full frame is gonna be better, but I do have a lot of APS-C sized lenses and mounts and things that work on the ADD and also my 70 Mark II, so I already have lenses that work with the ADD that do not work with the 1DX Mark II. Number four is media storage. The ADD uses the standard SD card. It's really easy. These are so common to use and just the perfect lightweight size. On the 1DX Mark II though, you don't even have the option for an SD card. You can either do a CF or a C fast card. And since I mostly do video, I only use C fast cards, which are hella expensive. Also, they're like twice the size and I have to connect it to an adapter to connect to my computer to transfer any photos or video every single time. So it does add another complication, but I guess that's just the price you pay for a $6,000 camera. I'm gonna pause to clarify, I love my 1DX Mark II and I'm kind of just playing devil's advocate in this video to compare these two cameras. All right, number five is the battery. So the ADD uses the LPE6 batteries, which I have about 10 of these. They're really common and last a really, really long time and fit brilliantly in the handle and just everything works really well with these batteries. I've never had any issues. Now on the 1DX Mark II, it's got this massive battery. I mean, take a look at how large this is. I know it's a larger camera, but the batteries are about two times the size and I don't even go through one of these in a full day of shooting. So I would say these batteries are slightly excessive, but still amazing. So along with that, the battery charger for this is huge. Whereas for this guy, it is nice and slim. All right, I think we're on number six. Uh, this was actually significantly easier to film than I was expecting. But uh, the top dial here is a physical turn style button kind of thing. So you turn this um, and you can select the mode that you want to shoot in. For the 1DX Mark II though, you can't change the mode while the camera is off. The camera has to be on, you have to press the mode button and then turn the wheel, and you have to look at the little LCD screen to find which mode you want, and it just seems kind of more complicated than it needs to be with a little style turn button, which there's definitely space for, so I'm not exactly sure why they did that, but I guess it makes it a little more professional than the ADD. In terms of the placement of the power button, for the 1DX, it's down here and you have to awkwardly kind of use your thumb to 
move it, whereas with the ADD, it's a much more natural location, kind of much easier to turn it on and off. I guess it's just kind of personal preference. I like having the power button next to the mode dial instead of next to the scrolling wheel and card release button. Number seven is file sizes. If you compare these two cameras shooting at the exact same specs, the 1DX Mark II will be about twice the size of the ADD. And then if you want to shoot any 4K with this guy, it's going to run you around 5 gigs a minute. That's just insane, and I've actually stopped shooting 4K just because I don't have enough hard drive storage for that much data to be shooting on the daily. Let's see, is there anything else? I think that basically covers it. So in terms of resolution and frame rates, I gotta give it to the 1DX. This thing is a powerhouse. It's a monster, and I'm working on the review of it very, very soon. That's so much fun shooting with this guy. It's honestly, it's a dream camera. Even though I just crapped on it for the last five minutes, I love this camera so much. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm working on a lot of other camera and filmmaking in general, kind of videos and stuff like this for you guys, all that coming very soon. Thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to keep it pro, 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 pro. This camera is so, so pro, so pro, so pro. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop right now. Okay, bye.